In the previous episode, we covered modules that generate more or less random voltages. Due to the quantity and quality of the modules that fall into this category, people were infuriated by the emission of some in particular. This is a random situation. Welcome back. Talking about quantum physics, let's start with Quanta C cell by Frozen Wasteland, based on work by Peter Blasser and Richard Brewster. We will add five instances, and make what's called a Quanta C ring. We connect castle outputs to the CV inputs of the next module. Then triangle outputs go to the next castle's input. And the last castle's output is connected to the first CV input. The last triangle output is connected to the first castle's input. We will sum the rest of the waveforms in a mono channel. Here, chord CV sends a chord to source. The signal from the quanta C ring goes through SLU and controls the cut frequency of disjoint. Another suggestion was to use the random gate from BOG Audio's LLFO through SLU. Warp 2 generates two chaotic outputs that can be viewed on a display. Now the signals are changing parameters in Black Wave Table VCO. Walk is a slim version. It can take polyphonic inputs, so it will output one different chaotic signal per channel. In the right click menu, we can choose from which input it takes the number of channels. Wikid has a series of chaotic modules. Langa combines several chaotic LFOs at different speeds. In this case, the outputs are sending the notes and some modulations to palette. Last but not least, we have LFN by Squinky Labs. It's a white noise generator run through a graphic equalizer at extremely low frequencies. We're pretty sure you will find more unforgivable emissions. Maybe two episodes are not enough for this topic. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. If you want to keep this channel alive, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.